Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got my Easter Manny for 2019. I've started off with Unt Peel Off Base Coat and this is Bitsy's Flawless. It's a pretty nice cream. You can find at Sally's Beauty Supply. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite or nothing, but it's alright. Making a little bit of a mess. Being sure to cap that free edge real quick. Got to break Woody out. But of course, got to break Woody out. And I just used one coat of this, and I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm just using this as a base for my gradient today. This is a rather long video, so hold on tight, folks. I'm also going to be using the IMK Protect Peel and a makeup sponge along with Sally Hansen's Watermelon Felon. And then Blue Blitz. And then you'll have to take my word for it, but this is Lacy Lilac. It's got my swatch dot on top of it. And y'all have seen me do gradients before. I'm just going to go in and load the sponge with the polishes. It is a pre-dampened um, sponge. I've, uh, you know, went and ran it under the faucet, squeezed all the excess water out. And I just thought these looked like great colors to do an Easter Manny with. I started with my thumb on that round, so we're going to roll through the rest of them real quick. This is how I almost always do my gradients. That's why these videos are always so long. is because I don't just show one nail. And now I've reloaded that sponge. We're starting with the pointer finger. Fingernail. And then we're going to roll through all of them. Just building that color up. And then we're going to load that sponge again and then start with the middle nail and then continue on just like we do. Get that thumb and back to the pointer finger again. And now we're starting with the ring finger after our reload. And this one is taking several rounds. Some, some polishes you get real lucky and you only need, you know, one or two. Oh, we've got a cotton hair, cotton fur. I gotta get that, I gotta get that out of there. Oh my goodness. There we go. Continue on now. It was stuck in that latex. <laughs> Trying to make sure I'm getting all the way to the edges. So we're starting to get closer to being done. And I have reloaded the sponge again with polish and we're gonna, hopefully this will be the last round. It'll be five rounds, but like I was saying, some polishes are great. You only have to do one or two rounds, um, but sometimes you just, you know, you just keep going until you like what you see. Got a piece of tape, and I'm going to snatch up that latex there, and then I'm going to use that tape to help peel everything off. Sometimes it's just extra polish. Sometimes it's leftover latex. And we're just going to try to get up as much of that as we can. But I didn't have very much mess. I am going to go in with my cleanup brush and my acetone and do just a little bit more. And then I'm going to top it with Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to smooth that gradient out, seal it in, get it dry down, nice and shiny and flat surface for the next step. I'm going to top it with some holographic pearls from Revlon because I just can't help myself. I just could not resist. And you can't see it really good on camera, but it, it really does make such a difference on a manicure. I'll be using the Uber Chic Yay Spring Plate and the Braves Diva. And this is on the black stamping polish. My beauty scrape I mean my beauty stamper scraper and an AliExpress metal barrel scraper I'm just going to use this image up here with the Easter eggs because when I think of Easter I always think of the Easter eggs I remember coloring eggs when I was a little girl so 
Now I'm just doing it differently as an older girl. <laughs> I'm going to fill this in, and this is that Fresh Paints. I'll have to put the name on the screen. Um, it's like the gold, but it's like gold and silver together. I was kind of wanting to go for that golden egg look. You know, everybody wants to get the golden egg. The special egg. The extra prize egg. So, just wanted to use this one in it. And it's, I love it because it's such a unique color. Because it really, you, when you look at it, you can see silver and you can see gold. It's just a very nice one. And I think it's also a pretty good stamper, if I remember correctly. So it does take a while to fill in this design, but once I do, I'm going to let it dry completely before I fool with it. Got a lot going on on this manicure, but it's my Easter manicure. I'm going to be using that Super Dry as my tacky base for my decal or reverse stamping, band stamping, whatever you want to call it. Got that tacky so that I can do my golden eggs on this nail. And that just worked perfectly. Barely even have any hanging off to mess with. Look at that. So there we go. I'm going to top it with the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. Because I do not want to smear my pretty little Easter eggs and one flower. There's a flower in the corner. I'm going to use that same plate and plop off some different images. I'm going to do Happy Easter on one of my nails. But this time I'm getting a little tired, so my stamping is not quite as nice as I wished and crisp as I wish it was. But we got Happy on there, and now we're going to clean that plate with some acetone and go in for Easter. I was trying to use another image off this plate, but I just got frustrated with it and just decided to go ahead and do this instead. So we got Happy Easter. And now I'm going to put the bigger cross on my pointer nail. And I did a decal and put it on my thumb to match my ring finger. And then I'm going to do this tiny cross surrounded by circles or, you know, a circle of stars. I'm going to put it on my pinky. And I'm just stamping them in black. I'm not worried about doing, you know, gold on them, too. I topped them with the Born Pretty Smudge Free. And now we're going to cover everything with some posh top coat. And I just really did like this one. And I hope you did, too. There's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.